Go ahead. Okay, so uh, how you guys doing? Poppy Veg here. We're here with uh, Robert Silverstein. Uh, he's an old high school buddy of my, my brother. And uh, I brought him six juices. Uh, this one that he's drinking right now is the Heartbeat. It's called the Heartbeat. It's got a one apple, one beet, 12 carrots, half a lemon, and two oranges uh, juiced. And how does, how does it taste, Robert? It's pretty good. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's just a juice. This is his, he, um, let me show you guys the juices that I, I made him. I brought him, I brought over six juices for him, 32 ounces, and I put them in his fridge already. And so far, he's already drank this one. This is uh, Dr. Oz's green drink, two medium apples, three celery, uh, cucumber, ginger root, lemon, lime, parsley, and spinach. A whole bunch of parsley. And already, he's almost finished this. I've been here for about, uh, let's say, maybe two, an hour and a half, two hours? Two hours. Been here about two hours. And he drank already about 20 ounces of it. So that's one. I made him another one. The beginner green. You guys know the ingredients. I'm going to line them up over here with him. Three apples, four celery, ginger, lemon, orange, and five handfuls of spinach. Here, I'll come up. I'll come this way. Five handfuls of spinach. Okay. Uh, this has been one of my staples for the year and a half that I've been juicing. Carrot and apple, 14 carrots, two apples, and I put a little sliver of ginger in there. You guys have all heard of the Mean Green. Everybody knows the Mean Green. Uh, Joe Cross's favorite. Two apples, celery, cucumber, ginger, kale, and lemon. There's also another one called the Nice Green. This one's not so mean. It's Nice Green. It's got apples, three apples, eight, so eight stalks of celery, a lemon, and an orange peel. And uh, no, one orange peel. So that's the Nice Green. So one, two, three, four. Uh, the heartbeat, and then uh, the Dr. Oz Green Dream. And this is going to be for him to drink throughout the week. As you can see, he's in a wheelchair. Uh, he's had some issues uh, with diabetes. And um, he's also... Uh, a kidney problem. Kidney problems. He's on dialysis. And... Um, I don't know if you guys can see his foot. They, they've amputated a couple of his toes. Uh, they were talking about amputating one of his legs. Uh, he elected not to. He, he doesn't want to lose a leg. Mm. Um, so we're going to do what we can to try to uh, get this guy's health uh, back and up and going. And um, another thing he also he already finished was a, he, had, he had downed of like a half a jar of, of kombucha. Uh, my wife, she brews this at home. We brew our own kombucha. Finish it off. Oh, he's, he's not <laughs> He loves the kombucha. He loves it. It's good. It's uh, fermented tea, mm -hmm. and it's it's got a lot of uh, probiotics in it. It's good for your your good good bacteria in your gut. How often should you drink this? Heck, we drink as often as you as often as you feel you drink water. Oh yeah. Um, it's got it's got a lot of health benefits to it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so you can't overdo it then, right? Um, in my personal opinion, no. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that tell, try to tell you don't drink too much juice. And I understand somebody in your situation might not want to drink that much juice because, you know, you are diabetic. You have to watch your sugars. Watch my, my fluid um, intake, too. You have to watch your fluid intake right. when you're on dialysis. Um, but uh, if somebody like me, who you guys know my story, I was 255 pounds. I got going on the juice and I didn't never limited myself and people told me I should be careful and I got all my blood work done and um, my blood sugars are good, my cholesterols are good, my blood pressure is good, everything is good, everything's getting healthy and you know I was 255 pounds and now you know I'm looking alright, yeah, I still got a little bit of loose skin here, still a little bit of fat but we're working on it, mm -hmm. it's a daily thing. 
So hopefully we can help Robert The long here. term, long term goal. Hopefully we can help Robert here nurse himself back into uh, a healthy life. So he sticks around a lot longer. Right. He wants to try that. Just shake it up before you open it. That's good. He wants to try the carrot apple one. You want to try this one? I'm going to try a little bit of each. <laughs> Just so I know what it tastes like first. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. How's that one? That's pretty good. And that's just carrots and apple? Carrot and apple and a little tiny sliver of ginger. Can you Ralph. taste the... The ginger has like a little bit of a spiciness to it. Can you taste a little spice? Yeah. That's the I ginger. I like that. That's good. Spice. He likes that one. This, this has been one of my staples for uh, a year and a half. That's pretty simple, huh? That one. But there's no, there's no, uh, no water. That's all straight from the juice. Mm -hmm. That's all juice. There's it's all nothing but vitamins, minerals. How many carrots, carrots were they? 18? 14, 14 carrots. What's that one? The mean green? That's yeah. a good one too. Hey, you did those in the, in the green star? Yep. Yeah, yeah I, did, I did them all in my green star juicer. I wanted to get the highest quality juice for him. So I, I used my green star. It took me two hours to make these juices. And I, I filmed it all on YouTube for you guys. And you guys are going to see the process soon. I'm gonna do a little video editing, maybe speed it up. That one's strong, right? Yeah, it's strong, but you know what? That's why they call it a mean green. But think of all the vitamins and nutrients. Yeah, just think about all the vi vitamins. And then you're, you're actually getting this in your body. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, we'll have some strong ones sometimes and we're like, who cares, it's good for us. That's why he mixed it up for you. Yep. Wow. All right, man, Rob, I'm gonna eat, okay? All right. All right. That's my brother on the phone. My brother. From, that's my brother from uh, is it Irving, Texas? Yep. Irving, Texas, which is Dallas, Texas. But if you start to feel like it's too much sugar for you right. right now, maybe we stick with more mean green. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of like, like let's, let's listen to your body and check your sugars, and we'll go from there. That's the nice green. That one I haven't had yet. I'm a little curious to how that one tastes. Mm. It's more celery. You taste too a lot of celery. Yeah, it's a lot of celery. It's just not not as strong as the mean green, huh? Yeah. It's just not as strong. How many calories is that equal to? Uh, it, they, they got them all on the website, thejuicerecipes.com. They talk about the calories, they talk about the sugars, how much iron, how much zinc, Look up that how much one. protein you're getting in all of them. I'm just saying, I mean, you're not you're not overdoing it, are you? You don't want to put these away for me? Yeah. I think I tasted them all. Uh, you didn't try the beginner This one? You try the beginner green? This is the beginning of right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll try that one. What if I made a mixture of all of them? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sure. Dr. Oz one. Whatever. The only thing that I can think that you might be overdoing it on is the sugars. A lot of them, they do contain a lot of sugars. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell you. No, these are low sugar. They are high sugar, um, which is, uh, that was one of the things that I was worried about. Um, but it gets digested in your body. Yeah, one of the things that I was worried about when I, before I did my blood work was that my sugars were going to be too high and I was gonna, just going to wreck my body. I had my blood work done and my, my blood sugars were great. They were, my number was like 84, uh, which was a standard range was between uh, 70 and 99. So I was right there in the middle. So, I mean, nobody can tell me anymore the juicing is going to ruin my blood sugar. Because me personally, I know from experience, it's actually improved my blood sugar. Last year I had my blood work done 
my sugars were like 94. So they went from 94 to 87. So my, my blood sugar has actually dropped over the course of a year that I've been juicing. I've also been eating regular healthy vegan food, but... Um, not too much bread, not too much rice. Not too much processed food, no processed, meat. No meat. No meat, no milk, no, no cheese, dairies. no eggs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, no animal products, so. no cholesterol. So. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to give you guys, let you guys know what, what I did today on Sunday. Uh, I spent a couple hours this morning making these juices for Robert here and came over here to San Bernardino, drove about 40 minutes out of my way, delivered it to him, and uh, hopefully we can get this guy back on to health. All right, so wish us luck, everybody. And uh, Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Good keep, luck and prayers. That's what we need. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll give you guys updates on how Robert's doing. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.